Did you know that up to 10% of the population has symptoms of auditory processing disorder? Could you have it too? Auditory processing disorder, also called central auditory processing disorder, is a brain disorder that makes hearing difficult. The Mayo Clinic says, auditory processing disorder, also called AAPD, is a type of hearing loss caused by something affecting the part of the brain that processes how you hear. Here are some examples of how it affects people. Not being able to distinguish voices from background sounds, hearing something, especially a voice in a delayed manner, and not being able to follow oral directions, etc. Sometimes sounds feel like they are coming from different directions than they really are. For example, you might hear a truck coming into your own room, but it's really just outside your window. Your ears work just fine, but your brain either hears differently than it should or not at all. This can lead to issues with spelling and reading due to the distortion of how sounds pair with letters. Which can be embarrassing by itself, but imagine hearing someone talk to you, but it sounds like gibberish. There's a huge social aspect to AAPD as well, and to top it off, it can be different each day, depending on the background or even your mood. At the end I talk about diagnosis and therapies, I did as a kid. I was diagnosed with central auditory processing disorder as a young child. I specifically hear things three times. Each time I hear it, it is a little clearer, especially if there is background noise. The first time I hear something, it sounds like a mess of sounds. The second time, it sounds like it has been washed off a little. The final time or two, sounds clear. Like I suppose people without a APD hear the first time. Sometimes coughs or sneezes sound so loud like they are coming from inside my head or as someone was coughing toward my ear, even though they are far away. Conversely, sometimes things that are close sound far. Voices almost always sound like garbled noises, all out of tune with each other with no decipherable words in the mix, at first. This is what I meant by a mess of sounds. It's embarrassing because many times I just smile and nod while I wait for my brain to catch up to what I hear. Meanwhile, the person talking to me is still going on while I'm way behind the conversation. In school, I would miss important instructions and be exhausted by the end of the day from trying to listen all day long. When I was in elementary school, I was taught American Sign Language and had listening therapies where I put on headphones each week and tried to decipher the sounds repeatedly. I also had an FM headset where my teachers would speak into a microphone that wirelessly transmitted sound to headphones or earbuds I was wearing. It's important for audiologists, speech therapists, parents, educators, and adults with these symptoms to be aware of CAAPD because it does affect our daily lives. Auditory processing can come on its own, or with a ADHD, autism, or many other disabilities. It doesn't mean someone doesn't understand language. It means that they may need to access it via text or paired with gestures, sign language, or pictures. So auditory processing disorder changes how the brain perceives sounds and speech. It impacts social skills due to missing pieces of conversations, makes reading and spelling difficult, and can make sounds closer or farther away than they really are. It has daily impacts on those of us with it. Do any of you have auditory processing disorder or think you do now? Let me know in the comments below. An audiologist is the best way to get diagnosed, but even many of them aren't trained in it. Look for a specialist audiologist, like this post if you learned something and subscribe for more on autism and neurological disabilities I have.